It's Tashara Travels, coming at you thanks to Texas State Railroad. Have you ridden the official railroad of Texas lately? Artist, cartoonist, father, and decorated soldier. That's just a few of the words used to describe this man, Bob Sneed. Yeah, he's a man who merged his love for painting and American history by creating images depicting some of America's first black soldiers. This man's artwork can be seen around the world, but he recently chose East Texas as the last place you'll be able to see some of the timeless pieces. At the intersection of art and culture, we find inspiration. I was in the Army. I worked as a draftsman. Because of my art background, I was totally fitted for that. This piece is entitled, Our Father Who Art in Heaven. A man currently living in Marshall, Texas, proving we can all have more than one passion. For Bob Sneed, that meant coupling his love of art while also serving his country for nearly 30 years. I've served in Germany, Italy, the Belgium Congo, and the Dominican Republic. Of course, Vietnam, you know, four times in Vietnam. I've served in different forts all over the United States. Yes, Sneed is an artist, having studied the craft under some of the top creators of all time. The retired veteran is also a decorated, dual-rated pilot, having earned 41 Air Medals, three Purple Hearts, three Vietnam Crosses of Gallantry, with Silver Star Medals also earning two Bronze Stars. The list goes on. This modern-day Renaissance man knows the brutalities of war, but is also a seeker of gentler truths. The first piece I did, was just ahead of the Buffalo Soldier. I finished that piece before I went to Vietnam. The second piece was this one. The third piece was the Apache, you know. And then the fourth piece was uh, from slave to soldier. This is Henry O. Flipper, who was the first graduate of West Point. Most of Sneed's artwork captures major milestones of black men in the military. His latest exhibit highlights these men. I just wanted to tell their story. They're known as the Buffalo Soldiers, an elite group of men who belong to six all-black regiments created in 1866, who, despite facing obvious racism, courageously helped rebuild this country following the Civil War. And it's not black history, it's American history. And that's the one thing I want people to know. It is our history, and we've got to keep it alive. It's an often untold story. Sneed says he didn't learn about the Buffalo Soldiers until 1956. I was absolutely flabbergasted. I was so fascinated. I said, I've got to tell this story, you know? And so the best way for me to tell the story is to paint. Utilizing his love for art, he began to tell a story depicted in images such as this one. Its name, they called our home ghettos. It reflects a commitment that the Buffalo Soldiers were saddled with where they came from slave cabins and sharecropper cabins and they were sent to the plains to enslave another minority. While art was indeed a passion of his fostered throughout his years in the military, eventually he traded in his wings for paintbrushes, chronicling his love of country through artistic expression. In fact, his paintings hang in many places all over the world, including the Texas governor's mansion. One of his pieces, the errand of Corporal Ross, was even used as the model for the Buffalo Soldier Memorial in El Paso. While Sneed has traveled the world and has many accolades to show for it, his latest diagnosis may just be one of the toughest battles thus far. In 2015, uh, I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. That's what brought him to East Texas, and for the sake of this story, what brought his timeless artwork to Marshall, a city he says might just be the last place you'll be able to see many of his pieces on display at the Marshall Frame Gallery. The one thing that I know for sure, there's only gonna be one place in East Texas for my art, and that's this gallery. I am not going to go to Longview and set up anything. This is your history, and you should enjoy it. This is for your enjoyment only. I put this together for people to enjoy. Just come and enjoy. Don't feel obligated to purchase a piece. Just come and enjoy the exhibit and learn this slice of history, because it's our history. 
Now, Sneed's artwork is currently on display at the Milkelson Museum of Art. That's in Marshall. He will host an artist reception at the museum on March 5th. For more information about purchasing some of his artwork or even just learning more about these pieces, you can find this story on our website, cbs19.tv. As always, if you have a place we should visit for our next Tashara Travel segment, send us an email at news at cbs19.tv.